Hello, and welcome to HubSpot Tutorials by Webdo. I am Mike, your guide and friend. Our today's tutorial is about how to manage your properties. In HubSpot, properties are used to store data on HubSpot standard CRM objects, custom objects, and products. Let's see how you can do this. To create a custom property in your HubSpot account, navigate to the Settings gear icon in the main navigation bar. In the left sidebar menu, navigate to Properties. In the Select an Object section, click the drop down menu and select the object you want to create a property for. Here I am selecting Contact Properties as an object. In the upper right, click Create Property. In the right panel, set up your property. Select the object that the property will be for. By default, this is the object type you selected earlier. Then, select the property group the property should belong to. Here I am selecting contact information. Enter text for the name, the property, in the label box. Enter text to further describe the property in the description box. Click Next. Then click the Field Type drop-down menu and select the field type for this property. Here I'm selecting single line text. Click Create and Done. To edit an existing property, locate the property you want to edit. You can search for your property by name in the upper right in the search box. Or you can filter out your properties. In the upper left, click the filters. Select the group to filter out the properties in that specific group. Select the field type to filter out properties by a specific field type. Select the user to filter out properties created by a specific user. In the right panel, edit your property. In the basic info tab, you can update your property's name. View the property's internal name to use in API or development work. View the number of contacts with a value for the property. Edit the internal description for the property. Update the group that the property is in. In the field type, you can toggle on or off the use in forms and botch checkbox. If your property has any of multiple checkboxes, drop down select and radio select field types, then click add an option to add a new option. Click clear all to remove all existing options. Select the checkbox in the front of the option to delete some specific options. Click Save and you are done. To clone, move or archive properties hover over the property, then click on More and you can clone, move a property to a different group or archive the property. This is how you can manage your properties in HubSpot. Thanks for watching. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section and we will be happy to answer. If you liked the video, Give us a thumbs up and press the bell icon to subscribe to our channel. To know about our HubSpot services, visit us on www.webdo.com.